Welcome to How to Acid Etch a Knife the Easy Way, where I attempt to acid etch a knife for the first time. Here's the knife that I decided to try first. It's a cheap knife, uh, probably only about a nine or a ten dollar knife. Uh, it is a lock blade that's made out of stainless steel. So first of all, you carefully disassemble the knife. Um, and make sure you keep all the little components that come out because they're very important that you put them back uh, the same way. Uh, so I'm pulling off the pocket clip and the scales off the side and separating the two side plates and uh, removing some of the other hardware. Uh, then you'll want to, with a Sharpie marker or some other marker, mark off all of the mechanical spots like pivot pins and areas where the blade rotates, uh, the pocket clip, anything that you don't want to get etched because the etch surface will not be flat anymore, uh, so it will not hold an edge. Here I'm just uh, creating a uh, pattern. It's sort of a vine pattern. Uh, you can create really any pattern that you want, but I kind of like this. It was sort of inspired by the Lord of the Ring. Uh, here, I'm using a acrylic paint pen to uh, fill in all of the mechanical spots, pivot holes, blade of the knife, um, and then I'm using a red, finer acrylic pen to fill in the design. Uh, remember that anything with paint on it will not be etched. Uh, you want to be very careful. This ferric chloride acid uh, can burn your skin and burn your eyes, so make sure you're using all precautions. Uh, I have submerged the part in the ferric acid for about 20 minutes, in which case I take the parts out, wash them off with water, and then uh, rub off the scale with my rubber gloves on. Uh, after I dry them, I put them back in. For another half hour or so, it was a total of 55 minutes, where I rinse the water off again, rub off the scale uh, with my rubber gloves on, and this is clear, cool water. It will deactivate it, the acid. Uh, after I've scraped the paint off with a razor blade, uh, I use a sanding sponge to remove the rest of the scale, the rest of the paint, and to give it sort of a antique look. Uh, and as you can see, the blade came, came out looking pretty good. If you remember, this is what the knife looked like before I started. And this is what the finished product looked like. Uh, I think it came out very nice for my first attempt. Uh, and again, I used ferric acid. Uh, and this is a stainless steel blade for a total etch time of about 55 to 60 minutes. Uh, this cheap knife. Uh, is now riding around in my pocket and I get comments on it quite frequently. Uh, it is a unique knife now and I think I'll try this on one of my more expensive knives. So thank you for watching How to Acid Etch a Knife the Easy Way. Goodbye.